You betcha, I am George, and welcome to Undead Citadel. Now, this is probably my newest favorite medieval VR fighting melee game, and it is honestly very cool. They do a really good job with just the animations, uh, fighting enemies, kind of dismembering, stabbing, stuff like that. They also have a large variety of weapons. Um, you could maybe compare it. Lots, people like to compare these fighting games, especially the medieval ones, to the big main ones like Blades and Sorcery, I think is the big main one. Um, it's not quite the same. To be honest, I think I like this better, but that's just my opinion. Um, the other one I'd, I'd compare it to would be um, Housebit Arena, which... I played that one a while ago, but I actually looked and there's been a lot of really cool updates recently. So I don't know if I would say this is necessarily better, but it is a little bit different bit of a combat system. So if you don't want to be able fighting the same um, NPC animations and their weapons, this is a good change up from that. And yeah, it's just a fun game. They have a good campaign going right now. It's kind of picking up. So we'll just... Uh, Kind of continue from where I left off. We're not at the very beginning because it was kind of slow right away. So hopefully I'm able to find an interesting part in the story. There's some good physics in here. So for example, like wood, you can stick your weapon in wood. That's pretty cool. And they get stuck on stuff like they should. You get a bow. The bow is actually, it's really easy to aim. So that's a good part of the game. They have a couple potions as well. The best one speeds down time, so that is really fun to use. This looks Golden like this is explosives. Fire. I almost forgot the smell of destruction. I assume I probably have to blow that up over there, so let's just grab this. Can I pick it up? Not sure if this is how I'm supposed to do it or not. It's kind of coming with me. They really like to just throw enemies at me whenever I turn around in this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if I get attacked from behind right now. This wall has seen better days. This I wall. know just how to pull it down. I don't think that would blow it up, but okay. No uh-oh. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Where's my axe? Don't know what happened there. Oops. Sometimes, the my big thing is sometimes if you don't hit them in the right spot, it just kind of bounces off them. And then I don't know why my weapon keeps floating away there, but there you can see I dismembered him, so that at least worked. Don't think that button does anything. Hello, anybody here? The other big thing is you can go in a lot of the buildings. Oh, they're coming from behind, trying to sneak attack. They like to do that jump attack. Holy. They, they also like to throw a lot of people at you, I've noticed. Which it seems to handle pretty well. So their AI must not be too... Oh, too high demanding. Wow, did I already die? The other thing I was going to mention is on your wrist is your health. So pay attention to that. And by eating food, you see how I actually regain that. I don't remember them actually pointing out that that's where your health is at. If I get the high ground. I need a sword. You can take him out of the legs and dismember him. That's pretty fun to do. Okay, I'm getting shot with an arrow. Oh yeah, the archers are really hard, because look at this, they like, see which way you're going, and they'll start shooting faster, and run away. <laughs> and then they'll attack you once you get close, their archers are hell on this game, I tell you. Ah, oh, they got another one. I got this boy. Wow, did I hit his bow? This guy's got armor on. I'd be careful about taking their legs out because it's kind of hard to kill them afterwards. They can hit you still on the ground. 
Another one, wow. The health is very low. Wow. Surprised they're not dead. And they're still coming, wow. I was say, as long as I don't get one behind me. Get away from that archer. I don't think there's any health outside. I think it's all inside. Is that it? Nope. Get out of here. Okay, we need some health, so we're gonna go inside. We also pick locks like this one. Oh, oh no! I'm not done yet. It's not the moment. I can't go inside. Two heavily armored guys. Are you kidding me? I'm assuming my arrows. <laughs> okay, that worked. This guy doesn't have an open face. Yeah. Okay. Good thing I got a big weapon too. Take that! Oh. That was a quick attack he had. Take that! <laughs> On the head. Ooh, rough. I don't think so, buddy. You can keep that. I'll take yours. Butcher's cleaver. Actually, I want mine back, too. Look at that. What this other guy have? Big mace, huh? I need some health. Okay, here is eating, so if I can look at my health bar while I do this. It definitely goes up. Be careful about getting attacked inside too. To hell with your limb. Ooh, oh. Ah. Die! There we go. Off with the head. Doesn't even look like I can go upstairs. That's a Fortunata Mente. See what's in this locked one. So, with these lock picks, you have to get all of these little clamps off and from what I've noticed so let's see if we let's turn up to the top so these two worked if you turn it the wrong way it undoes them so that one worked that one's next I'm assuming this one let's see if I can turn it so you can actually see it he keeps covering it with his hand maybe if I get down to its level yeah, see how he grips it so weird. There, now I guess you see it. So, assuming it's this one. Maybe that one. There we go. If it doesn't work, then you have to redo it going the other direction. Okay, stabbing didn't quite work. Well, I guess it works, but just not the way I wanted. You got any food over here? Oh, that's a cheese. That should be enough for full health. I get one more piece just in case. There we go. Might as well see what else is in here, right? Anybody home? Hello? 
Yep. Give me that back. <laughs> Anybody else home? Yep. Looks like we got a chest. I'm guessing there's maybe a key in here. Oh no, cool potions. So, Elixir of Frost. I'm assuming it lets me freeze my enemies. And this green one on the right is the good one that actually slows down time. Sometimes these have doors behind them, so I just want to check. Oh, so I can put these on my belt too. Did not know that. Looks like I have one room for one more. Continuing Those on. Those Abaddon fanatics must be entrenched up there. Right. I bet my honor on it. So the idea is we are in like a citadel, like a city almost. And it's been taken over by this cult. I think it's like the Abaddon is what he just said. Or brought these undead people back to life. So it looks like I need uh, to light this torch to burn down the thing back here. And then I'll probably get the key for going out there. Like this is my only weapon. Not much I can do with that at the moment, so. This is good for slicing through. Oh! To hell with your limbs, you critter! The other thing I like about this game is that they have just an endless mode. See, these guys just the bum rush you if they don't have a weapon. Jeez. Go with my weapon. You don't need those legs, do you? Off with his head. All right, what was I saying before these guys? These nuisances. Distracted me. So what I need is the torch. I need, I need to light that torch that I threw. This needs to get lit. I need to find a fire somewhere. So back in that house, I think I was in there was a fire. So I can go back here rather than trying to find one in one of the other houses. I think there was a fire in here. I guess we'll find out. But the cool thing about... Here's the fire. The cool thing about... Is that going to work? Oh, just got to get more time. About Hellsplit Arena. As I said, this game wasn't necessarily better. It's different, I'd say. This one is a lot of fun. Hellsplit Arena, they are really adding a lot of support. It's been a long time since I played that game, and I'm surprised in how much support, support they're adding to a VR game. They're adding a lot of options for mods, for really the community to make content, and I'm considering setting this that's definitely place on fire. a bet that they're taking that the community will be that interested to make new content for them. But it's really cool the sport they've done. They've already themselves added a bunch of what the heck? Added a bunch of stuff, including they added uh, black powder weapons, so you can shoot, kill the kind of zombies and skeletons with that. And that game is zombies and skeletons, similar to this game. So that, I definitely see the comparison between the two. You won't be needing that anymore! Probably noticing the weird part about the combat in this one, the fact that it kind of bounces off stuff and gets stuck. I'd say that can be improved, but this game just came out, so... For the state it's currently at, it's actually really good in my opinion. 
I'm looking forward to getting farther. Are you trying to okay. Freaks? Come and Let's do me. this. Oh, that was a quick slash. Those guys without armor die fast. I see his weakness. This is why you cover your legs. Oh. He doesn't have armor on his other arm too. They can hit you pretty easily from the ground. It's the worst thing. Die! Yeah, I need some set or a melee weapon or some. Ooh, here's a new one. Not a melee weapon necessarily, but a. I need a blunt weapon that deals can break that armor with just force. Oh, they blocked off this way, so I need that key. I need to figure out where that key was at for that big door. So I'm assuming it's in one of these houses. Start off with this one. Found the key. Okay. Well done, that was easy enough. <laughs> Alright, got the key and I'm heading to the door. I think that's really what this we'll find so far consists of. Or I will die trying. This is me burning down barricades and unlocking keys. The keys lead to each of these new areas. Quick, open it. Move, run. <laughs> this must have been the Citadel's market. Now it reeks of death. All right, buddies. Can you do this? So slow motion. Slow motion stab. Oh. Oh, we got an archer. Slow motion doesn't work too well with archers, apparently. You really feel- Oh, they got a new bow. You really feel like a badass as an archer in this game. Oh, so it's a faster. It's meters per second. There we go. So... Um, what way do we go? Seems like we need to get over there. It looks like we may be able to get on the roof and walk over there. So maybe up here? I have a knife. I can assassinate this one. Shh. And the stabbing is very satisfying on this game. Don't know what this is. Is this a fireball? A firebomb. Okay, interesting. Die! Boom! <laughs> So, it looks like I need to get over in that area, which I could probably do if I got down here. Or maybe, maybe I need to open this lock. So we'll find out. I'm low on health. Something's in here. You can definitely hear it coming Come down. Fight. Holy mother of it's a knight. Did I kill him? Where's my weapon? Ah, shoot. This is not good. Oh, there it is. There's my weapon. Die. 
should probably use the frost thing now. Die already. <laughs> yes. Exposed head. You're done for, buddy. Hey, and now I can get a big sword. And take his big sword. Come on, guys. Not like that. Oh, look at that baby. They did a lot with the shadows. Like, I actually have the shadows pretty low, but look, they really try to render them in real time. That's pretty cool. Not very many games do stuff like this. I should actually turn the shadows up and see what they look like. Okay, so... The sh I turned it up to high, and the shadows look very similar. But look at that. It's, like, almost black. It shouldn't be that black. It should be, like, bleeding out a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, just a little bit lighter. Not, like, completely black. It's still cool, though. Um, I can't see a thing outside of the light, so... I have to bring this with me now. I almost killed myself. like a, a slow more like blades and sorcery that you can control at your will rather than like it automatically did it for you you're losing your integrity so Axes are a lot better than that sword I kept dying with. Take him out at the hip, at the stomach. See, it's really hard when they just outnumber you. There isn't always a lot you can do. when they get that sly hidden. I think your weapons can actually break too. I haven't had a weapon break in a long time though. Just because I seem to switch them out rather often. Still alive. This potion. Oh, strength. Are you kidding me? What do I got? Get out of here! Die, you 
skeleton scumbag. Whew. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall. Okay, I think. Ooh, health. That's a good one to have with. I should almost just take it. Burn! Burn before my eyes, infidel! That was disappointing. Well, I'm not going down there to get that, so. I think I'm gonna just use his health because I don't want to die. I can't believe I just bumped it off. Okay. Anybody coming for me? Do you think you can prevent me from making my way? Sneaky, dirty rats! I'll execute each and every last one of you! Look that it's just one shot each. Each. Makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> you weren't taught to fly down in hell! Surprised they're not coming from behind yet. Did I just throw? Pretty sure I just threw away my frozen one. Unfortunately. Ooh, oh, there it is. Probably won't be able to reach that. If I'm being honest. I like this fighting on, on these high walkways, it's kind of fun. Die, you scurvy skeleton. Foresight. Okay. Oh, no. Buggers. Man, they just kept coming. Like, they come at the worst times, I swear. Now I'm sitting on empty on health. Good thing I drank that health a second ago. Doesn't look like that has a handle on it. So I guess we're going in here. So I think this is the final arena that we're coming up to, which is the graveyard. So from what I hear, there's some actually some pretty good cemetery, um, boss fights coming up, part. where it gets pretty difficult. So I'm interested to see what those look like. This game isn't easy. It's actually getting pretty difficult, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Especially that long sword was so hard to use that I just have to be careful with what weapons I'm using. This sword looks like it's gonna be nice though. Quick. I kind of missed the original infantry sword they gave us. Now they're giving us all this weird stuff. Especially that one. Like a cutlass, like a really wide blade or long blade I guess anyways uh, we'll continue on next time from here so thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe and and I'll see you in the next video peace out mm -hmm.